Hey guys and welcome back to another video of the Spark Vlog. So in this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make this vlog from its 2D Infusion 360. At first, it might look an easy one, but uh, some of its spaces like this one and this one cannot be modeled just by making use of basic commands like extrude and temper. So if you are new to Fusion 360, this might have a chance to learn you some tricks so let's get started and also you can find the high resolution pdf of this 2d drawing in the description below so let's get started so at first you can see that it's it's actually engraved on a rectangular block whose dimension we can see in the top view the top view uh, it's 70 mm in length and 40 mm in width and also the height is 40 mm as you can see in the left view or the side view so what we are going to do we are going to make a block of 40 by 70 by 40 first and then we will do the cutting according to the drawing provided so let's get started so what we have to do is switch to new design and create a sketch and click on base draw a rectangle press T for dimension this dimension will be 70 mm and the other one would be 40 mm and press ok and finish the sketch now we have to extrude it up to a distance of 40 mm Let's select it extrude up to 50 select new component and press ok now the next step is basically you guys can see it basically uh, it's a chamber of 40 and 45 degree and it's an extrude cut and it here also it's an extrude cut so we have to make every step manually as the chamfer is not possible as, as we have to make this phase also so what we are going to do we are going to first cut this portion out of the block then this one so to cut this portion you guys can see from the top view the detail of this cut so basically uh, it's a 40 mm width and the, the cut is uh, cut uh, it starts from the 20 mm from the 70 mm side and, and as you can see and it's 30 mm here so basically it's 30 and 70 minus 30 is 40 so here we are going to make a rectangle of uh, height uh, 20 mm and the base would be 40 mm so for that just click on create a sketch go to top view click L for line draw a line from here to here then press T for dimension click on this one and this one and right click on sorry press escape go to coincidence a constraint click on this point and this line will get constant click on this line and this line will get constant press T for dimension and keep the dimension from this point to this as 20 mm and from this point to this point as 30 mm you don't have to make the entire sketch as fusion can detect that it's a closed body so what we have to do is click on extrude click on this one and just extrude cut it so we have just made our this step if we if i just used to talk you guys can see it's uh, just like this skirt now we have to do what we have to do is we have to make this skirt and it's absolutely similar like the one we have did with, with the top face only thing that changes is the face now we have to make this simple ex simpler similar extrude curve on the front view of the profile so again switch to a symmetric create a sketch switch the uh, select the front plane and again click L now we know that this point is the 30 mm from there click on this and, and as you can see the height is 40 mm so we have to uh, choose the midpoint of this line so for that you guys can just select the midpoint like this it will automatically detect the midpoint or you just uh, uh, or the other ways to make it manually like coincident and press T for dimension give it a dimension of 20 mm from bottom now this time this face is not up to the last sketch so fusion will not detect whether it's a closed sketch or not so what we have to do is 
we have to make this sketch uh, more close so simply press P for project select this line and this this line and press ok now it's a close sketch use the sketch go to a screw and just screw it you can just hide the sketch for now okay okay i have done something wrong just click on the student one yeah oh actually i have i didn't press wrong okay so just extrude cut like this and press okay so what we have done here uh, we have created uh, this cut on the side now the only thing left is this chamfer the chamfer dimension is given it's 45 degree angular chamfer of 20 mm so let me just show you one thing if i just click on chamfer and so what will happen is the chamfer extends to this these two places also while if we just look at the drawing we need chamfer on these two places only so what we have to do is the chamfer using the chamfer command is not possible we have to make manual chamfer so for that just switch back to this back view and just click on a sketch now we have to make a manual chamfer of 20 mm so press l for 9 and just if you just uh, uh, put your cursor on middle of this line you guys can see the it, it will snap the midpoint so just uh, actually uh, it's 20 40 by 40 mm block so the midpoint will automatically be at uh, 20 mm similarly repeat the step from here now you don't have to close the sketch at this on the face click on this click on extrude and what we have to do is we have don't have to make the entire extrusion the extrude length this time would be given in the front view it's 30 mm the length from here to here so just extrude it up to a distance of 30 mm so this is how it will look like so the only thing left is to make this face so this is the tricky one cause uh, no other command not the chamber not the uh, any other profile not the extrude commands of course that if i try to extrude cut it it will look like this if i try to make use of press pull then it will look like this so what we have to do is we are going to make use of loft command so basically it's a simple one it will ask you the profile the two profile in which you want the loft to be created so just click on this face and the beauty of 15360 that you don't have to select an entire profile on a sketch to loft get complicated you can simply just select this point actually just press on plus. just let me just switch back okay it is not snapping the point now what we have to do is just switch on um, the back or uh, click on create a sketch on any face like suppose that so what we have to do is uh, make sure your 3d sketch is on press l and from this point i'm i know that i'm not making the sketch from this point but we are going to make a 3d sketch so just from this point to this point make a 3d line and place the sketch you guys can also project projected it using the uh, project command or just clicking on like p in fusion 360 so just click on create click on loft select on this face and select on this point it will automatically create a loft and it will the operation is join cut so the, choose the operation cut and press ok so this is how we will make this face and this and that completes our today's exercise on conversion of 2D drawing in 3D view. So hope you guys will enjoy the video. Please comment any queries and suggestions. Don't forget to share and subscribe my channel.